of course, America is going to be able to mobilize more resources for resources for military problems than for non-military problems. It it has always been thus, right? Um, but it's it's particularly stark in this case, and the point should not be lost that like climate is the greater threat to America. There are like there's there are things at stake in Ukraine. There are reasons to be supportive of Ukraine. Um, there's a basis to argue for even military support, which we're already providing to Ukraine, right? Um, so it's not to like denigrate Ukraine, but the idea that you can mobilize so much so quickly for this peripheral thing that is not core to uh, American existence or the security of Americans in any direct or concrete way. But then climate change, which does threaten Americans directly in a concrete way and is already impacting them and you can't do fucking shit about it or how it's affecting the global south, that is troubling. And that's why we are on this like fucking path to nowhere good, which was basically the gist of the Mark Beeson conversation I had yesterday on the pod. Uh, if you catch that, it's 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 pessimism all the way down with that dude. Um, and it's for shit like this, you know. Got money for but, wars, but can't feed the poor. Now it's you got money for wars, but can't fight the climate, you know? But, I mean, they have money for both, right? But this is just a consequence of Joe Biden not doing what he promised, as opposed to one being spent on one instead of the other. They could do both, realistically. Oh, Joe yes. Biden it's within our capacity, to. Yeah. It's, it's not even, like, I feel sympathy for Biden in some way. Like, this is the nature of the politics of the moment. Like, we're all hostage to Kristen Cinema and Joe Manchin. And Joe Manchin yeah. says, yeah. he said specifically, we cannot afford to invest in infrastructure and climate change because we have to have money to fight China. Like he fucking said that in Russia, he added. So like his own reasoning about why he's cock blocking us has to do with ensuring we have enough money for the stuff like Ukraine. It's the, it's the reasoning of the militarists themselves, their logic that ensures that military stuff comes at the expense of the goodies, the public goods, the infrastructure, the money for climate financing. Um, it doesn't have to be constructed that way. That's how they're constructing it, which means as long as we do the military stuff, we can't do the other stuff, you know? 